Hello, and welcome to the Dango's Outdoors Halloween Special. I've been racking my brains with what I should do, what I can do for this Halloween Special. And what I thought might be quite Halloween-y would be to go and catch a ghost carp. Uh, that's quite appropriate, I think. And there's only one place I can go really, and that's Woodland Lakes. Uh, around here, that's probably the place I've caught the most ghost carp. I think pretty much every time I go, I get one. But I've not been for quite a while now, so I don't know. I'm just gonna take the kitchen sink and hope that something works. It's late October, well, of course it is. And it's not winter, but you know, the fish are still gonna start grouping up thinking about winter, so I think I'm gonna take a bomb rod, a float rod, and a carp rod, and just, just swap between them, hope that one works. It, it'll be nice not to just sit and wait for a buzzer, to be honest. Right, gotta get my stuff ready, and yeah, see you there. Good morning, here I am at the lake. Uh, I've set up in one of the ponds where I've done well before and I've caught a few ghost carp. So I'm just gonna get everything set up, I'm gonna start an equipper tip, have a cast around, and while I'm doing that, I can always set up a float rod and have a think about what I can catch on that. Yeah, for now, very chilly morning, so gotta get a rig on and yeah, get a bait out there. <laughs> this is gonna be my first roll of the dice. Got a running lead, quick change bead, and a short hook link with little PVA bag of pellets and a couple of grains of corn on a hair rig and really if you're bomb fishing and you're not using a rig like this then I don't know what you're using <laughs> right let's get it out there that was a fish first fish and it's a skimmer <laughs> not quite what I wanted got something on the bomb rod. Not a carp though. Another bream. Ah. Oh, got this on. Ah. Came off anyway. <laughs> well I'm starting to think I might have a move because this is all that's happening to me in this spot. Lots of skimmers, some silverfish but no carp. If I want to catch a ghost carp, I'm probably going to have to catch several carp to be in with a chance of one. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look around. I've found a new swim, and I'm feeling a vibe in this one a lot more than the last one. There's a bit more open water, the sun's more on it, which is, is better at this time of year. And yeah, like I say, I need to catch several carp to be in with a chance of a ghost carp. <laughs> really need to get catching. Yeah, it's happening over here as well. Another move. I'm in my third swim now. Hopefully my final swim. Looks really good this one. It's a different lake. But I have seen ghost carp caught from here as well. <laughs> yeah, looks brilliant. And already a big fish swirled in front of me. Got one rod out, need to get the float rod going. Just fingers crossed, I need some fish, some big fish. What's finally happened? I'm finally into a carp. It's only taken seven hours.
we are. Certainly not a ghosty, but after all them skimmers, it's just nice to get something that fights back. Come on. Right, let's hopefully get some more. Maybe one of them will be a ghosty. That's one way to put fish back. There's another one. Off camera, I've genuinely been catching quite a lot of these. I think I'm on to 20, maybe, something like that, with roach and skimmers. Quality fish, but just not what I'm after today. Yeah, got to keep going, got to catch those carp. Slime. Out of nowhere, I had a carp on the float. Just come off. There we go. Another little silver fish. Just pop that back. I think I'll say goodbye now while well, we've still got a bit of light. It's not been a day I thought it would be. I've fished three different swims on two different lakes and I've only caught one carp. It's a shame, but on any other day I maybe would have got more. I think the problem was that we had the first big frost of a year last night. Anyway, still a good day. I'm going to carry on, so if I do get one, I'll put it in afterwards. But if not, thank you so much for watching, and like the video please, because although it's not been a one we thought it'd be, it's been a laugh making it. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much. See you next time.